spice, huh? Yeah, you need your spice. It must flow. It must flow. Indian spice. There's some fucking spice in your cargo hold that some jackass wants you to get, and he'll pay you. That's what- that's what what? Cargo hold. It's where the- the fucking kid was. Yeah, I forget. So just keep- just- There. Get out of here and just keep taking rights until you're there. Oh man, today's a big day. Today's the day we're gonna go into the biggest space. Supplies? Oh, well, they're probably in one of these. Not that one, though. Oh god. Did you even... Opening containers in this game is... Uh, hey. It's, the it's... It's, you know... Ah, there you go, compartment. Fuck, it's locked. Red 47. Fucking nice. I think you got the thing. Like that. Oh no, you did. Fuck. Spice! Hooray! Let's go get out there and, and tell Kurgu Lashu. The flavor of my food is of the utmost importance to the galaxy. Yeah, pretty much. It's basically what it comes down to. It's the, like... Imagine it's just salt. I mean, if it was like, like, Montreal Steak Spice, then I'd be like, yeah, okay, yeah, I, okay. I, I get it, I get yeah, it. I get that that's this good, is, that's good shit. I get that this is a thing. Put a couple lives on the line. Yeah, we're not going far either. Wait, we're not on a core event oh, at all. Oh dear. How do we end up fucking here? Because because uh, Kando had to kill the other Mando. Oh, he with, did with kill his that guy. Big old bunch we, of brigandos. We did. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Oh, all right. Let's get back to Corbin. Hopefully, nobody attacks us. And away we go. Everyone's gonna attack. Fucking boo. Oh, man. It's one of those things, it's like... By the way, today's the first day of a new recording. And it's like, all these people coming in, it's like, Hey, here's the, here's what the fucking Grey Jedi Order looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. For it's sure. like, hey, they picked yellow. That, Yellow's that, a good that color. Just went up, yeah. wait, wait, hey, I like the I like the compromise between the two phrases, though. Yeah. Um, it, you know that you're you're not worried about peace and you're not worried about power. You're kind of just like, you know, you need a little bit of column A and column B, right? What, 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 what are we stressing about? We're stressing about this right now. There's also a second neutral equivalent, which was the well, original, the EU. original Jedi, right? Uh, That's the, the original EU. Skywalker yeah. branch of Jedi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which yeah, ends in super cool. the Force defines me. Well, because it was like it was like originally there was the um, uh, th there was more of a neutral order, and then like the the, the re what was it like the extremist pacifists basically took over. But um, the the gray thing that I was sent here on on Twitter is there is no light without the dark. Through passion, I gain focus. Through knowledge, I gain power. Through serenity, I gain strength. Through victory, I gain harmony. There's only the Force. I'm like, you know what? There's a there's some sentiment in there, but it's the closest thing to not being bullshit. So, I actually got clarification from uh, some folks. Because passion can also lead to stupid, yeah. stupid decisions. And that's what the that's dark the side... That's the whole point of, of Plankett's fucking thing of like two, two to three totally interchangeable emotions. <laughs> You know, can lead to anything. That's it. It's so extreme. Uh, but I got some clarification on like what do you do with <laughs> stuff like Tor, <laughs> and the the uh, the what you do is you keep rolling with old cannon. Just 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 leave it be. Yeah, just keep going. Okay. All right, let's find Kurt Rose or, or whatever his fucking name is. He looked like a Greedo, didn't he? I I was he not in the docking area? Because I don't want to run really far if Dude. he's. No, I, I think he might be. Oh, I mean, I'll do a spin. Yeah, I thought I thought he was uh, in the bar or like, oh, maybe or in the area next to the room. That yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was. Oh, it was, you remember specifically? You hook a uh, you hook a left at the end of this instead of fucking fantastic. Pockets has to do some last minute smuggling before saving the universe. Smuggling is important. People really want you to switch to a red lightsaber, and I looked at that thread and I was like, you no. Oh, there's a thread. Yeah. People are discussing it's a, it? It's a petition. Why? Because Pockets is so evil. So who cares? Tim Red is, like, so... See? See? That's- I knew this would happen. It's so, like, it's so tired. Uh, 
This is not the right guy. No, it's not. Yeah. Um, it's a guy kind of, if I remember correctly, around the corner. Um, now you're backtracking. No, no, I, I'm trying. To, I'm, I'm looking at the. That's the cantina. Is it the room right after this? Yeah, my. Lurza Kesh is this stupid fuck's name. Yeah, it might be the room right around this corner. Fuck that stupid name. I hate it. Lurza, where are you? Yeah, dude. Like it's it's so like. No, it's not nah, at all. dude. Sith are red. Like how tired Sith are, we are red? This, you know, I am. It's like Sith being red feels like it would come back on them super fast. Oh, cool! You're a Jedi. Can I touch your thing? Whoa. Oh! Oh no! You're wearing a Nazi armband, right? I am. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. Look at Jolie's powers. Yeah, that's a super creep. That's a Majora space mask right there. Yeah, uh, I sure do. But no, that's your option. I'm just checking. Thousand credits for the spice. Thousand credits for the spice, huh? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Fair enough. Just take the spice, make it two thousand, or I hand it off to the authorities. I feel like that's a more aggressive. Yeah, that might actually lock you out. Negation, negotiation tactic. So let's go this way. I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're right. This this is a fair deal. Why does just mind control in pockets? I sure do. Allow me to take the spice off you. My employer's very happy. But would you like more credits, pockets? Oh, my, my, my smuggling parmesan? What are we doing here? Talk to me. You fucking... Just, hey, you know Mata on Tatooine? You remember that guy? Mata the Hutt. That. He, uh... He wanted this box. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what he wants. So, uh, all you have to do is give him the box, and all you have to do is not open the box. Two thousand for that, huh? Just don't open the box. And what happens if I open the box? Don't open the box. Okay, that'd be bad, huh? Okay, and... You don't bring it yourself because? I guess I would, but I mean, I have stuff to do. It's literally he's too busy. Yeah, I'm, I'm way too busy. Well, let's get some more out of that then, shall we? I'm actually not the guy who's... It's Mata's box. Who, it's box, so, like, you could haggle him, I guess. Because I'm paying him with the box. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where can I find him on Tatooine? Yeah, yeah. He's the guy at the swoop track. Make your head. <sighs> right. All right, we're gonna put the box in the Ebon Hawk. Remember, don't open the box. So, this is one of the most common quest types I can think of in this genre. Here's an item. You'll get a big reward if you don't touch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, yeah. don't touch it. Whatever you do. Now here's the question. And it is impossible for people not to touch it. Well, the question is that it's it's. It, I mean, it's either a game over or a character. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's like there's no in between. It's, oh man, there's a really, really, really good one in Pillars in which you get like all these options to like maybe look at it a little or hold it up to the light. But characters with absolutely fucking gonzo decks, like 19 plus, are able to pry the fucking letter seal off without without it being broken. Oh, cool. And you can just read it, and then you have the option to reseal it, and then give it back to the people, and they're like, Oh! Oh, good thing you didn't open it. That'd be really bad. Going the long way around the ship just now, uh, it's actually to scale. Yeah, of course. That's really cool. That's, uh, I'm a big impress. All right. So the box is in your cargo hold. I imagine it would be in the cargo hold. Now, before we open this box. Well, wait, hold on. That's. You're going to open that phone. <laughs> hold on. We've been instructed quite clearly. You've been instructed to save the game. Look at that mysterious box. What shape is that? <laughs> what are your secrets? Look at that box. It's a fucking crazy box. Well, it's not big enough to be a character. It's big enough to be a big gun, though. Yeah, or a bigger sword. Could just be. A... That'd might, be good. They might want to kill the hut. 
Do you wish to open the box? What's in the box? Bad things are in the no, box. No, do not open the box. <gasps> Quick, run away. No, okay, we should, we should. I'm ready. Okay. Oh no! What did you do? Why did you open the box? Are we all dead? Eh! <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's good shit. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody else is in here? What up? Already? So very long time and nothing. Then this man of mere three months, three in a row. But it's your luck. Well, that's that look at you, hmm, biped. More or less symmetrical. Far less hair than the last one. Opposable digits. Mostly water, hey? I suppose you'll have to do. Oh my god. Okay. Who are you and what you are? I'm a prisoner, and so are you, I guess. Though, probably by accident. You probably didn't mean to come in here. But I was put here on purpose. My own people put our little criminals in cages like this. Well, our minds anyway. For really terrible criminals like me, our mind gets locked away forever. Oh my god. I've been here for like... One... Uh, I'm not good with numbers. That's fucked. This is a prison. What did you do to get imprisoned here? I led a war. Well, I mean a rebellion, really. The details would hardly interest you. Well, any of my kind died, and I'm responsible, or so they said. I take it back. This is clearly in between. <laughs> uh, you said three in a row. How many others have there been besides me? Oh yeah, two entirely different species visited me before. But I couldn't talk to them like you can. Like I can talk to you. I eventually got angry and ran off into the whiteness. If you go far enough out, you might find them, though I wouldn't recommend it. They're likely quite mad. All this whiteness can do to that to you, you know. It'll drive you mad, mad, mad if you let it. It's just an infinite white void. So he's the only thing keeping him sane is the chair and, <laughs> and like, wall behind him? Well, at least it's a point of reference it, for, yeah, it for is. space, it right? It is, it is. Okay, is there no way out of here? Clearly not. Keep your distance. Oh, well, there must be, yeah. That's well, interesting. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's totally way out. I've been here long enough to ponder that. How many years now? A thousand? Ten thousand? Uh, yeah, I don't... I'm, I'm honestly not really good with numbers. Point is that I found a way out of this clever little prison. Interesting that, wouldn't you say? What's the catch? Isn't there always? There's only one place that one of us can escape to. And that's your body. Mine, I'm sure, is uh, not available. Before you get all excited and defensive, let me tell you that I can't go jumping into your body without your willing agreement. Huh. Conversely, you can't go jumping back into your body without my knowledge. This leaves us at something of an impasse. Huh. So, this is actually a mental prison <laughs> away from your body. It's not like you're you're just... It's yeah, if he were to if he were to leave, he would instantly disintegrate into because his into real nothing. body's gone. Yeah, which is different from like this is just like inside your head happening. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do I know you're not lying? Look, if you like, we could spend the next thousand years arguing about this. You want out? I want out. We could go on and on. Unless your species is remarkably long lived, I doubt your body has a thousand years. Frankly, I doubt either of us is going to convince the other of anything, right? So why waste the time? Simple competition between the two of us, and we sell the matter. You win, you go free. I win, I go free. Yeah. What kind of competition? I have a little clue as to which activities you're good at. You're at the same disadvantage with me, I suspect. The best game is one of the mine. Exchange of riddles. First of us to fail at an answer loses. Does the fucking force work in a mental prison? Hell no, it doesn't. Oh, God. Uh, and what's to stop you from cheating? What's to stop you from cheating? Yeah. And the only thing I can think of is hard to cheat at riddles. It is deceptively simple. And if I say more physical, then he's gonna just go, no. <laughs> yeah, I bet. But, I mean, that's not really your body. So, 
It's nothing. Can't do nothing. Right, right. You can't even move that fucking chair. You're only that because that's what you think you are. Okay, that's what your brain says. Mental challenges. All right, all right. What are the rules? Okay, let's restrict ourselves from riddles specific to our cultural race. Tarasarn, a wonderful look at, would be meaningless to you. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I, don't on that, I don't think there should be any rules. A riddle's a riddle. So we agreed? Jesus, no choice. Okay, don't be fussy, don't be fussy. If I'm going too fast, it's because I've been stuck here a little bit. Don't worry about it. Alright, let's see. Yeah, you've been sitting there fucking pondering on the best riddles for the last 10,000 years. Or more. Oh, man. Until I measure, I have not known you know, how you miss me when I have flown. Time. Oh, yeah, that guy. Okay. That, was that was easy. Maybe I should have used all this time to think of harder riddles, huh? <laughs> this fucking guy. All right, your turn. All right, if you break me, I do not stop working. If you touch me, I may be snared. If you lose me, nothing will matter. Uh, and what has roots, and as nobody sees, is taller than the trees, up and up it goes, and yet it never grows. Uh, I don't know the answer to either of those. What has roots, as nobody sees, I don't know, your your lineage, your ancestry? Oh, that, yeah, that is... And this one, uh, if you break me, I do not stop working. Uh, if you touch me, I may be snared. If you lose me, nothing will matter. Uh, uh... Uh, what? Break? What do you break? Fast? I yeah, that's what I first <laughs> thought of. Right? Uh, wind? I you can break wind? I'm gonna go with the first one. Okay. Huh. Oh, it's your heart! Oh, yeah, it's your heart was broken. That's true, you can break a heart. Oh, wow. That's, that's a universal idiom. Works across all races, even the ones with multiple hearts. Or no hearts. At all. I never was, yet I always yet always will be. I have never seen, yet I always come. I carry nothing, yet hold much for some. The end? Tomorrow. Yeah, 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 for sure. A vacuum. Yes. Ha 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 ha, you got it, tomorrow. Okay, your turn, sentient. Uh, the same one as before, or... You heard me before, yet you will hear me again, yet you hear me again, and then I die until you call me again. Um, hearing. What do you hear? I don't fucking know the answers to your riddles. Yeah. I can smash his, no problem, but yours are super tough. Do you hear me? Do you, what do you hear? I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna go with that. Oh, weird. Oh, it's an echo! Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, no, it's his turn again. Oh, boy. Who makes it has no use of it. Who buys it has, has no need of it. Who buys it has no use of it. Who uses it has no knowledge of it. This is the most ridiculous one to be, uh, like cross cultural, cross time, cross species. Uh, 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 I've heard this before. Yeah, that's a real riddle. Yeah. Um, who uses it has no, it's, is it, is it just energy? No, no, it's, it's a coffin. Okay. Yeah. But like, yeah, 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 but yeah, like yeah, a yeah, grave. Yeah. This is assuming that yeah. all creatures learned to bury their dead. And don't disintegrate. Right. Ah. I'll never see one because I'm stuck in here. Oh boy. Flying to Dantooine, I meet five ships. Each ship has five crewmen. Each crewman, five pets. How many in all are flying to Dantooine? Oh, he's no good with numbers! No, 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 not numbers. No, 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 94? No, 90... Carry the two. It's one. <laughs> I'm the one flying to Dantooine. Oh, I fooled! I've been fooled my... Oh. Good for you, Pockets. You have bested me. I guess I'm gonna fucking stay here then. You ready to go back, buddy? Before I go back, what's your name? Oh, my name? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. That's depressing. Knew it like a thousand years ago, but I guess it's been so long I forgot. It's pretty depressing. Hmm. Okay. Uh. I could destroy the prison if I'm out while I'm out. I, I could do that. Uh, I'm sure someone else will be along before you know it. <laughs> 
I guess, yeah, so this is where you get your points. Uh, right, that's pretty neutral. That's good guy. That's kind of good guy, but neutral good guy. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that... And that's dark side. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, you're right. Maybe they won't be as intelligent as you. That makes me feel a lot better. Enjoy your hut, buddy. Thanks. All right. Man, forgetting your own name is dark. Nothing really, it's just, just close your eyes and then the loading screen will pop up. And well, What did it say when we walked up to him, though? He did have a name there, right? Or was uh, it yes. his race? He was listed as Rakatan. Okay. Is that a race? Or is yes, that, that a is a race. Okay. That's so weird. And we had a little adventure. A little adventure in the box. Can I just gonna open it again? No, no pockets. What would even happen? Uh, you know what? You know what would be the darkest thing to happen? What? If you went in and it was like, Oh, you're that person from 30 years ago. Oh, <laughs> man. Black Mirror? Oh, man. Right here in my KOTOR? That's fucked. It's more likely than you think. Don't do it. Not even once. To Tatooine, we gotta deliver that shit and get our creds. That's not- that's not bad. Cause... All you gotta do is open it. Listen. All you have to do... Is make sure... That this, what is it, lighter doesn't go out? Well, what you gotta do is you gotta go in there, right? And you gotta have the person in there for long enough that you make friends, and then you become like, you create like a bond with them, and or some sort of crazy relationship. Yeah. And then you have the person go that gets set free. Yeah. Agree to just send worlds of people into the box. Send enough people into the box that, that you will never be alone again. Yeah. And then you'll just have. Or you could trick one of them to, to, to let you out. Yeah. But the point is, is that you just feed people to the box, yeah. and you create a pocket verse. And that way, uh, you can do whatever you want. Or you just put whatever you want in the box. Anybody you don't like. Yeah, that's easy too. Just feed them to the box. But, but, but the problem is, they have to open it. Yeah, here's what you do. You point a gun at them and say, open the box. Open the box. Yeah, that, that's yeah I mean, that's the solution, right? Yeah. But then you can just shoot the gun. Right. Have your laser's always been red. They've always been red. Okay, because I was like, did Pockets change the color of her, her lasers because she was evil? The Ebonhawk has, has the Is red it, lasers. Oh, it's an evil ship. It's an evil ship. That's how that works. The ship knows. It knows its alignment. Like, it's one of those things, it's like, this is obviously for clarity, because in, in the fucking scenes, like, it's a mess of shit. Yeah. But it's like... G.I. Joe rules. Yeah. I want, I want a situation, I want some fucking, like accident in, like, Star Wars continuity, in which there's a ship that the bad guys attack them with, and it fires red lasers, but then they steal it, and in the next scene it's it shooting. It changes green. colors? Oh my god. Right? Yeah. Like, I just saw where a good guy, like, hits a stormtrooper, and then picks up his gun, yeah. and starts shooting, and then it showed Lee, it fires so, yeah, I saw, was, I was, I saw on, uh, uh, on fucking the internet yesterday, I saw a fucking tweet that was... Uh, uh, part of uh, Last Jedi, where Rey is lightsaber fighting with a guy. Yeah. The guy has two knives, mm -hmm. and so he grabs one of her arms and like blocks it, and they're struggling. And but his left arm with a big knife in it is a hundred percent free to just stab her in the back. Oh! And then the instant the blade passes behind her, it's it's fucking removed in post from his arm. <gasps> Wait, because they shot the fucking scene and the action scene. And then realized in post, like he had oh, no reason shit. to just stab he her. He could just stab the shit out of her. It wouldn't like super easy. So they're like, "Well, we can't fucking remove it from every shot of him coming towards the fight because he's doing twirls so and he just, shit." So he just dropped it at some point. He oh, it just faded away. That's bad. It's face faded away. That's like, that's almost as bad as Luke's kick. <sighs> you know Luke's the one. Kick is super good. Yeah. It's almost as that as bad as that. I love Luke's kick. It's the force. He yes. kicked him with the force. You, well, you can you have the excuse. And say like, same thing here. You can just say the force made him drop that, despite the fact that. Oh, you don't like HK anymore? I thought. Oh yeah, well we're off of Korriban. That's true. Yeah. Um, not to mention. Oh, well, you're not killing anybody here, so it's fine. Whatever. You're coming right right back to the ship. Not to mention that. Uh, 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 fuck, thought, brain, word. You're trying to get to party selection, but it doesn't- it doesn't really matter. Uh, so he's at the Katita? 
Where do I go? Where do I go? I can Can't uh, the the soup races. Soup races. Yeah, that's it. Um, you were just talking about the kick and the force. Yeah. and editing and uh yes uh, uh Darth Vader in uh, Rogue One temporarily turning his breathing gear off. To fucking dude <laughs> to scare the rebels in that oh, dark hallway. No. <laughs> yeah, just keep going straight forward. Fuck, that's like I hate I hate knowing that one. That one just that's tanks the ending of that whole movie. So upsetting. It's like this is gonna be really cool. He couldn't breathe for this like a really solid. Cool. You ever see fucking Red Letter Media reading the fucking manual on how awfully put together Darth Vader's suit is? And how there's all sorts of mechanical deficiencies that render him in constant pain and like burnt bacon rubber all the time. I did know. That. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. Is that is that based on uh, the... some old technical manual? Okay. Like where'd that info come from? <laughs> Racing or business, one or the other. I have this fucking box. Box. La boîte. Oh! Oh, that box. Oh, I thought, I mean, isn't that late? It's pretty late, man. Did you open the box? Does it make a difference? Not really. I know what's in the box, and that's good enough for me. You want some money? Okay, you get 2,000 bucks for the box. <sighs> He's never- you can't! It never works! Not with these fucks. You can't occasionally persuade them, but you can't force, force persuade, persuade them. They're too good at it. <laughs> Fuck you. Your shit's late. Yeah. He's super right. He is. I'm not even the guy that was originally supposed to do it. Take the credits and go. Fine, fucker. Congratulations. You're super right, you dumb hype. <gasps> is he... not holding a flute? He is not holding the flute. How dare you? Get back in the cantina. How fucking dare you? You fuck. That's disgusting. It is disgusting. I'm throwing up. Throw up on his big dome head. Without a flute in it. Uh, um. Yeah, you can just get back there. Sure can. And with that, we're all cleaned up. Apparently, uh, there was some HK parts back on, on, on Corbon or something, but... No, what happens is, is basically, if you use the sound dampener on the, on the robot, you would have been able to talk to the robot. Mm -hmm. And the robot's like, oh, I, I used, to, I was an assassin droid prototype that loves murder, but I've learned to love organics. And HK is like, oh, that's so terrible. Oh. Can we, can we, ha can, oh, can we fix you? Oh, definitely do one last save before you hit this thing. Mm -hmm. And then you do it. And you you can talk him down if your lights up, and then you get your points. So you, you get, get your, your parts point, out of yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see. Um, forty-four. It'd be that one. So, oh, speaking of which, someone posted a fucking cursed image. Oh, I hate cursed images. <laughs> and I mean, besides the uh, besides the spoiler that like there's HK related content in Kotor too. Uh, the... He's a- he's a party member. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But it was a picture of him with full light side tendency. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. That was awful. You can totally do it. That was awful. That was really rough. I didn't like it. It made me- it made me feel bad. Yeah, he doesn't like it.